my intention, if elected, is to appoint the famous, really legendary prosecutor, Vincent Pugliosi, as my special prosecutor. He wrote a book which meticulously argues both the evidence and the law that will enable us to prosecute George W. Bush for murder in Vermont once he, President Bush, leaves office. You know, I would appreciate it if Attorney General Sorrell took this case seriously, and I've actually got with me a letter in which I am delivering it to him, asking him to debate us on the issue of jurisdiction and the law. I chose Vincent Bugliosi to be my special prosecutor if elected, because the man knows the law. He's got a fantastic track record in court. He has meticulously argued the case, and so I will be relying on him. Now, it seems to me, at the very least, that Attorney General Sorrell would address the issues that he has been presenting, because Attorney General has not. He kept saying it can't be prosecuted in Vermont because it has to go to international criminal court and, it, and it's war crimes. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the crime of murder and that it is going to be prosecuted under Vermont statutes. And I might also say that there are lawyers all over the country now that are looking at this case. They feel that the federal government has let us down, that Congress has let us down on the impeachment issue. So they are looking at states to be able to do prosecutions like this, not just of George Bush, but other high-level officials in the Bush administration with the idea not only of punishing them for those crimes, but also for sending a message to future occupants of the White House that we will not stand for this continuous violation of the rule of law. So we're going to say it, it, that the uh, request for accountability, the, the insistence on it, and the insistence for justice starts here in Vermont. Before I get into the issue of jurisdiction, I want to say that 23 young Vermont soldiers, among over 4,000 American soldiers, are in their cold graves right now, as I'm talking to you, because George Bush took this nation to war in Iraq on a lie, under false pretenses, and therefore he is guilty of murder. And yet the incumbent Attorney General isn't doing anything at all to George Bush because he claims he doesn't have any jurisdiction to prosecute him here in Vermont because the soldiers, he said, died in Iraq, which they did, not in Vermont. Now, the reason he is saying this, I'll tell you very concisely, the reason he has taken the position he's taken is because Bill Sorrell does not know the law. And I would think that the people of this state would be very alarmed that their attorney general, the chief legal officer of the state, does not know the law. The law is very clear that if a crime is committed outside a state, here outside the state of Vermont, but has a very harmful, deleterious effect upon the people in the state, that state has jurisdiction. And if the horrible, violent deaths of young Vermont soldiers in Iraq has not had uh, a terrible effect upon the people of the state, then I would ask, what in the world would? As far as I know, there's nothing more serious than being killed. So the point is, Vermont does have jurisdiction to prosecute George Bush for the deaths of the Vermont soldiers who died fighting his war, not your war or my war or America's war, but his war. And none other than the very prominent legal scholar, uh, Dean Lawrence Valvel, uh, Dean of the Massachusetts School of Law, has said that Vermont has jurisdiction. I want to tell the people of Vermont that George Bush is responsible for the deaths of these Vermont citizens, and we cannot let him get by with murder. George Bush, in my opinion, I feel very strongly about this, has gotten away with thousands upon thousands of murders, and we, America, the American people, cannot let him do this. I have 30 years' experience as an investigative journalist, as well as 11 years' experience as an attorney. So I think that what I will bring to the Office of Attorney General is something quite unusual. It's the combination of two skills. One of the skills is I know how to investigate, and my whole background is one of investigating injustice. My whole pro professional life has been dedicated to uh, investigating injustice by people who are quite powerful. Um, I feel that I have a moral obligation to uncover the truth and then to hold those who do wrongdoing accountable. So when I read in this book uh, the prosecution of George W. Bush for murder, and I saw that any attorney general or any state's attorney 
could take on this task, I, I had to give it serious consideration. And it's not just uh, because of, of who I am, an investigative journalist and uh, an attorney uh, and a progressive. I think that has something to do with it as well, because we all know that the Democratic Party has certainly let us down on the question of impeachment. And a lot of people in our state feel very, very strongly that something has to be done to prevent this continued lawlessness. So impeachment, there's still some efforts going on. We all know that 36 towns in Vermont tried to, uh, did in fact, uh, vote to impeach at their town meeting day the President of the United States. So this is all a series of incremental steps. I wouldn't be standing here in front of you today if it was, wasn't for a few things. One of them is what the people of Vermont have already shown. Uh, many people in Vermont that they that they really are appalled at what the Bush administration and the president did with regard to this war, sending troops off on the basis of a lie. Secondly, um, I am uh, obviously building on on what was written in this book. It's all incremental, step by step by step. So uh, that's how we're going to do it. If I'm elected, my next step is to appoint. Vincent Bugliosi as my special prosecutor. And for those of you who don't know of him or haven't read his books, I might cite the uh, opinion of Alan Dershowitz, who is a very famous lawyer out of Harvard, who said that if there was going to be a Hall of Fame for prosecutors, then Vincent Bugliosi would be at the entryway. There's just nobody who would cause me, if I were guilty, more fear than Vincent Bugliosi, because he will get to the truth. And I'm very confident that he will do this. The whole country is looking at Vermont right now. Uh, you, you need to um, believe me when I say this. Um, I've been getting calls, donations, offers of support from all over the country. Even Europe is now looking at what we are trying to do here. I would dare say that many people in the rest of the world would be very proud of Vermont if you were to elect me as, as Attorney General so that we could bring justice to George W. Bush. And that would change the, uh, the, the prestige of us as Americans in the world. We've got to show that we care about restoring the rule of law. We have to show that we Vermonters care about democracy, and I know we do. It's one of the reasons why I decided to come forward. It wasn't just because of me. It was because of Vermonters who are fiercely independent and who really care about justice and democracy. Our challenge is to read the book, read the endnotes, and then let's have this discussion. And he sent a copy of this book to every attorney general in the country. That means that uh, Mr. Sorrell has a copy of the book. Why doesn't he read it? That's my challenge. Read the book, then let's have a debate.